once you cast crabs you have the Hierophant, the knight of wands and the eight of swords okay there's a link in the comment section below called the link tree link click on it it will redirect you to a website which has all the ways for you to be able to support me so i can most definitely keep the channel going really appreciate it if you would i uh do tarot readings teach people how to do the tarot birth chart readings all of that type of stuff also i have books that are out um on amazon go ahead check those out the link to all of that stuff is in the comment section below link tree link so thank you in advance so if you cast the crabs the hierophant the nine of wands and the eight of swords um Okay, so these cards right here, right? These three cards right here are about, once again, dating around, playing the field, not necessarily being committed to one particular person, but not putting yourself out there like a trashy person also, right? That's not the goal. The goal is, is not for you cancers to come off like you're, you're trash or you're for the streets. That's not the goal. The goal is y'all to essentially meet people that you can have in your life long term the uh the star card the star card the two of pentacles right the six of pentacles the king of pentacles and the nine of cups really really speaks to the qualities of the person that you want that you cancer crabs pretty much already have within yourselves, which is someone that is just as enthusiastic, number one, the star and the two of pentacles, someone that is frustrated of the games and how many people play them out here, but also the fact that um, you cancer crabs um, want someone that is just as enthusiastic to get to know you as you can be to them, right? That wants a relationship also, not someone that is playing like they want one, but in actuality, they really don't. You cancer crabs really do want somebody that wants someone else. Otherwise, what's the point? They're just wasting their time. Uh, someone that is, like I said, frustrated of playing games and wants to see if the two of you can actually make it work. See, you know, see the, what the two of you are actually made of in the first place. The Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles represents how also someone that is generous, you know, not generous to the point where, you know, it, it's like transactional because you cancer crabs would actually give back to them, okay? Um, you would find ways to give back to them as well. But someone obviously that is generous, someone that isn't afraid to give, right? The vast majority of people today, when they talk about what it is that they want, particularly on one side, you hear so much expectations and all of that type of stuff because, like I said, they take the baggage of what the past individual or individuals, right, plural, more than one, well, I should say plural, right, how many of them they, they had that didn't do those very same things that they're looking for. So now those things have to become a quote-unquote standard it's not really a standard it's an expectation because of the fact that they couldn't get a person to to do this for them and if they can't necessarily get a person to do that for them you know like it is that i said before you know it's time to essentially you know do something different real talk and that's what it is that a lot of you cancer crabs have you know, you look, you're not necessarily going to put it out there as far as tell the whole world, because that's the mistake that a lot of those people make, right? I can't say who, but a lot of those people make when they come to the internet. They, they talk, they put it out there, what their expectations are, right? And then they try to pass it off like it's standards. And the thing about it is, don't tell people about this, right? Because... These are things that you should be, these are things that should happen to you in the first place. And that you keep it quiet, you keep it a secret, because when you say it, it becomes transactional. Because now it's like, 
oh, if, you know, you're looking for this. So because of the fact that, you know, you're looking for this, does that mean that this is specifically what it is that you're looking for? So you'll, you can find people who will specifically give you, who will give you gifts and stuff like this. But again, it comes off transactional because of the fact that the per the fact that people are supposed to come out and give you gifts and 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 get to know you automatically. You know what I mean? If if their heart calls for that, that whole ideology of like you have to say it in order that type of stuff to happen. That's really not something that you're really supposed to be doing if we're keeping it 100 right there. So these are some of the things that a lot of you cancer crabs may be looking for, but don't tell somebody else that. If a person does not want to give you that, then just stand back and, and watch them and allow them to show you who they are, right? Because though, cause what they're giving you, whether it's stress, whether it's gifts, whether it's whatever it is, that's what it is that they're willing to give. So like if the two of y'all sit down and you telling them that, you know, you're looking for, uh, you know, if a person is going to give you a gift, this, that, the third, again, it looks like you're for sale. And I'm not saying that you cancer crabs are. I'm just saying that, right? Like if a person wants to give you a gift, be appreciative of it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, wait until the two of you have been with each other for a long time before you can tell the person what it is that you want, right? It comes off transactionally or as transactional when the two of you just now beginning to get to know each other and the person may end up giving you a gift or something like this. And like you've only known them for six months, a year or whatnot, and you telling them that you wanted X, Y, and Z. You understand what I'm saying? Then it, then it looks transactional because... Now it's like, okay, well, you know, you you got specific ideas in your head about what this is supposed to be. So the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups now is about, and also you want someone that can actually, you know, regardless of whether they have other people, right, that's willing to talk to them, right? You're the person that they're, you're the person that they pick, you know, as well as you being able to pick them. So it doesn't really necessarily matter whether or not the person has other people, right? But it's how they date, right? How they date, what what do they do when they date, right? They could have people, multiple people that they're getting to know, but do they try to smash every single one of those people? Do they do that? You understand what I'm saying? Do they do that? Do they smash every single one of those people? Do they... Uh, you know, give gifts to every single person that, that they're with. Because truth be told, and see, this is the thing, right? You have people who talk about gift giving. Just shake my head at how much it is that people really don't know what it is that they're doing and it shows itself, cast crap. You have some people who will come up and be like, oh, you know, gift giving is part of their love language. And it's like, oh my gosh, giving gifts is a mistake giving when a person likes you right they're getting to know you they want to get to know you okay and they're giving you gifts right because they want to give this a chance that it's not supposed to be transactional you're not supposed to say you know what i mean at the very beginning that you want a gift or or <laughs> or what it is that you specifically want Giving a gift or receiving a gift, my dear Cancers, is something that's accidental. Meaning that you 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 like you you want to get to know the person, and you're thinking about the person so much to the point where you you go into one of those stores and you buy something. It has it's totally spontaneous, and it has nothing to do with you know. It has nothing to absolutely do with a scheduled gift. There has to be spontaneity behind it, right? Surprise. So whenever it is that you hear people talk about they want gift giving, it means that you got to run, cast crabs. That's what it means. Because it means that 
They're for the streets. They're for sale, which is a dub. So let's clarify some of these cars. Let's clarify the, uh, let's clarify the Hierophant. Three of Swords, Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, the Moon. So a lot of you Cancer Crabs overall in this reading. A lot of you Cancer Crabs very much so. Uh, my, my hair is itching. Um, but uh, a lot of you Cancer Crabs overall, you're looking, you're still looking, right? But you're looking for someone that has a lot of the same traits that you have, right? Similar values. And that you have a couple of people that may be interested as of right now, but you're looking to see if those people have the, some of the same values that you have, that the two of you can share with one another. That would make a good relationship. So to clarify the Hierophant, you have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Is the person you're looking at, you Cancer Crabs are looking at if the person has actually gotten over their own um, sense of hurt and and emotional baggage and damage. The Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, can the, two, can the two of you actually be peaceful with one another, right? I'm not saying that disagreements don't come about at all. I'm not saying that. But if they come about too much, then you Cancer Crabs are looking at that. And you're paying attention to maybe the, the two of you would not be compatible if you and this person couldn't get along for a certain amount of time, right? And it's, the, and it's the difficulty on schedule, right? You're paying attention to see if the difficulties are on schedule. And what I mean by that is when a person want this for the streets and they wanna play and they're playing games with you, a lot of the arguments on schedule, not all the time, but a lot of them don't realize, right? That if you can figure it out, they're in serious trouble as far as breaking up the relationship and sending their goofy behinds back to the streets because it comes on a schedule. It's like, you know, every Tuesday, the two of y'all are arguing. And then you look at it and you go, yo, why is it that every Tuesday, me and such and such are arguing? What's up with that? So the Five of Wands and the Six of Pentacles represents how... Uh, you know, once again, it represents you paying attention to those things, right? But also the Six of Pentacles and the, and the Moon, the Six of Pentacles represents, but they they have a serious expectation of how it is that you need to spend on them and gift give to them. We just talked about that. But then at the same time, the Moon represents how those are obviously things that you got to get away from. You got to get away from these type of people. That's, that's a whole dub. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video.